Right guys, welcome to another unboxing video and today we have a pretty special unboxing. I've been pretty excited for this figure. Uh, as you guys know, on Monday I believe it was when I uploaded it, I got the Seth Rollins and Jeff Hardy from Elite 75 and in here we have the Pete Dunn. I'm not going to just pretend I don't know what's inside. I know what's inside alright. Um, as you can tell from the title, I think it's good to know what you order. I think that's a pretty good idea. Um, what am I on about? But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna. This is kind of gonna be a bit different from a normal video because I'm gonna do a comparison video to this Pete Dunn that I got last year. Obviously, this was the Elite 64 Target exclusive, so this wasn't cheap to get in the UK. But at the time, I was like, you know what, I need this Pete Dunn, and it's definitely. Uh, I've definitely got my use out of it, and I'm ready for a new one. But I'll still use this definitely. Because this is such a good figure. But I'm going to unbox this, do a little review, and then compare them to see which one is better. So it's going to be like the £20 versus the £100 Pete Dunne comparison video. Um, so yeah, but I just want to let you know, I do. I, I am planning the uh, how, to, uh, how to make a pick fed video. That should be out within the next few weeks. I want to make it like really good. Um, just to give you guys the best like tutorial possible. Because uh, I know a lot of people, it's probably the most demanding video um, on my channel. That I haven't done for a while because I think I did one like two years ago or something. But that is on the way, don't worry. Um, so yeah, I look forward to that. I don't know when it'll be out though, so I can't give a date. But uh, yeah, obviously this is from Smith's. Uh, and I actually thought this got lost in the mail because uh, it was like a day late. And usually when they're a day late through this delivery service, that means they're lost. Because we did get quite a bit of snow the other day. And I think that's what may have caused the delay. Uh, so I was, like, I was ready to order another one. I was like, you know what, I'll give it another day. And look what arrived. Got in, the guy hid it around the back of the house because no one was in. And yes, yeah, shout out to Mr. Delivery Man, whatever your goddamn name is. Um, so yeah, so glad to have this. So cheap on Smith's as well, 1999. We have the Elite 75 Peter Doon, as Kyle O'Reilly would call him. Comes with the awesome vest, the black and gold attire from Takeover New York, was it? Or Takeover Blackpool? I think it was Blackpool, uh, the United Kingdom title, and a new head scan, which we'll have to have a better look at. Um, but yeah, so we have Jeff, Dunn, and Seth now. Now we need Kalisto, Mega Hurricane at some point, because uh, that looks pretty fun to pause around. Uh, yeah, 685 day rain, Tickle of New York. It looks like Tickle of New York, this is the attire. I actually thought it was Tickle of Blackpool. But whatever. Um, that picture looks like some tickle with Blackpool. I don't know what they're doing. Um, but yeah, we have a. He's obviously in a tag team now with Matt Riddle. Um, which, to be honest, I am I am loving the in-ring stuff. But I think the stuff they're doing when promos is back backstage is kind of goofy. Um, even though it's funny sometimes. I don't know. It's just my opinion. Unpopular opinion. I'm ready for hate. All right. Not the biggest fan, but you know, hopefully they can change my mind on that. That match was amazing at Takeover. Um, but, you know, that's what Takeovers are for. Great matches. So um, yeah, let's just get this open and uh, we'll do the comparison video to this one and we'll, we'll go through the head scan which is better the jacket the attire and uh, i think that's all we can really compare um obviously you guys remember my dog got to this somehow i left it on the floor one day and she just started throwing it around uh, i came to it and it was at the bottom of the stairs and i was i was looking all over for it it's got like a few teeth marks there and a bit of a rip there so that's really annoying but um you know whatever whatever it's all good so let's go ahead and open this. Right, so here is the Pete Dunn out of the packaging, and wow, what an elite, guys. Definitely go pick this up off Smith's uh, if you're from the UK. I think Europe and Ireland uh, can also get it, but maybe those warehouses haven't got it yet. Uh, but yeah, incredible figure. Uh, I'm a bigger fan of the head scan than I thought I was going to be, because um, I heard a lot of people not be the biggest fan of it, but I actually really like it. I think it works. Um, uh, but yeah, the tie is awesome. I love the whole black look. I love the black kick pads. At one point, I was going to put black kick pads on this one to see what that looked like. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, I actually I do like to have the fisted hands on, fisted hand on the right one and the open one here, just so you can do that right forearm forearm smash um, like I've got here. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of wear on this one from where I've used it, like on the wrist tape and chest. Um, but uh, yeah, awesome figure. He also does come with the interchangeable hands. Of course, and then the United Kingdom title, which this one didn't, uh, so that's a bonus. So yeah, beautiful title. So that's one extra point for the Elite 75. Um, but I think all we can do now is compare them, because you know you guys have probably seen hundreds of views of this. So let's just compare them. Uh, so I guess we'll start with the scan. And oh, man, it really is tough. Um, I I don't know, because I love the long hair, but I kind of like this expression. 
I honestly, I actually can't choose. Uh, I do like the Mina look more, so I'll probably give the head scan point to this one. Maybe a head swap would look sick. Uh, I, I don't know whether to buy another one while it's still quite cheap. Um, and put the head scan on here. Let me know if you think I should do that. Uh, the jacket, this one's obviously chewed up, so that's not great. Uh, but I'll probably give it to the black one, because I just think the black and gold look is so cool. Uh, look at that. It's like off-centered a bit, which is kind of annoying. But I do like the red. I love the red color. And the fur. Oh, it really is tough, guys, honestly. Uh, but obviously, don't go out and spend £100, £100 or dollars on this when you can get this for like 20 uh, or 25 So, uh, yeah, and now let's take the jacket off, I suppose. Um, here we go. Just... And we'll go through the attires. Uh, I've already checked the joints on this peak done. It is all good and dandy to use. Dandy. That is the word I would use. Um, but uh, yes, let's go for the attires. So on the left side. All this. So uh, yeah, on the left side of the Elite 64 attire, he has like the bear logo. Uh, which is a signature logo, which has his, his uh, jacket and everything. Uh, and then over here we just have some gold lines. Uh, I'm not really sure what this is meant to be. Just a few squiggles, you know. He got bored, decided to squiggle a bit on his attire. Uh, on the right now he has bruiser weight here. Um, and the, you can see like a bit of the bear there. Which is pretty cool, actually. Looks awesome. Uh, and then these kick pads, I love these this colour. But the black also looks really slick. Uh, so honestly guys, I can't choose a favourite. Um, obviously this one is a lot better for value. And yeah, just... This one I definitely recommend more just because the price mainly. Um, if you find this for twenty pounds though, don't, don't pass on it. But that's very unlikely. Um, but yeah, really awesome figures right here. This Elite Seventy Five done is really cool. Uh, I'll definitely use it on my next show, uh, BFW Last Stop. Obviously, we can't end this video without putting him with his title that he holds in BFW, the US title. Awesome. So yeah guys, thank you for watching this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, as I say, the how to make a pick fed video is on the way, uh, so look forward to that, so subscribe, turn on notifications, so you don't miss it, and yeah, see you in the next video.